If you don't have one picture that you've taken of yourself, I don't know what's wrong with you. Me, personally, I always take selfies. I love, you know, just when your makeup just is popping and you're just like... So this video is four types of selfies I don't understand because we need to get to the bottom of this. Number one, the lie. This one is a mirror selfie. If you want curves, please stop trying to deceive me. I am your friend. And if I am not your friend, I followed you in hopes that I can see a picture of you that I actually like. A picture of you, not whoever you are trying to create. This is the picture where the girl is like taking a picture of herself, but she has to like twist herself, you know, bend in all sorts of directions. So, and then like usually stick one leg in front of the other so she can look like she has curves. It looks like she has a butt when we all know that butt does not exist. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. Place your leg back on the left side where the good Lord placed it for you. If you don't have curves, that's okay. There's no shame in being linear. But like we know that once your leg returns to its original position, your ass will fade back into oblivion. Stop trying to contort yourself for a nice picture. This picture is just all around false. Number two, the blind spot. Jesus said, let there be light. Jesus also said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Jesus also said that we should be a light to this dark world. But Jesus did not say, let the light erase your face. Like, I don't know who this is. We know that light is a good thing. Lighting is essential for a good selfie. But haven't you ever heard that too much of a good thing is still too much? Like, excuse me, miss, back away from your light source. Don't try to catfish me. If I cannot identify you from a picture that you took of yourself, then what on earth can you do correctly? Honey, go stand in the shade and and try again. Number three, the half. Are you the moon? You don't get to have days where just half of your face is there. Like how did this one even come to be? Like with me, when I take a group selfie and someone's face is accidentally cut off, it's a bad thing. But with you, this, this is intentional. I'm pretty sure that if you only had half your face, you wouldn't be happy. Like, this makes no sense to me. Where did the other half of your face go? Like, I'm assuming it's still there. Like, pretty soon it's not even gonna be a half face. It's gonna be like a quarter face. So it's like you're taking pictures, but th this is this is what we can see. Like, it's not even half my face. Nonsense. And number four, the constipated light skin. Now hold it, let me explain this one before you come in the comments talking about some I'm offended. This person does not have to be light skin. This person also does not have to be constipated because you can't really tell if a person is actually constipated from how they take a picture. But when people do do this, it sure as heck looks like they are. I only use the term light skin because I see a lot of light skin people taking pictures just like this. It's like they squint really hard and have their mouth slightly open and then they raise their eyebrows so it's kind of like it's like why are you squinting and also not all light skins make that face like i'm not saying that like what what like i just don't get it why i used to think squinting was a bad thing like why are you trying to see less than you actually can open your eyes like can't you see a lot better yeah yeah, thank you. Jesus healed the blind man, but you know what? Nowhere in the Bible will you see that Jesus healed the squinting man. You know why? Because if you squint, you can still see. If you are constipated, go to the bathroom. If not, open your eyes and see if your picture will turn out well or not. And then go back to the bathroom because let's be honest, bathroom lighting is actually bomb. I swear that's why a lot of you guys take ages to take pictures because you can't actually see what you're taking a picture of. Like, how am I supposed to tell if a picture is nice? 
if I'm doing this. And then you have the nerve to go back and try to look at it and try to fix yourself when you could have just fixed yourself the first time. But anyway, that's four types of selfies that I don't quite understand. I don't think I'll ever understand them actually because they don't make sense. Like getting a good picture, like a decent picture can actually be really hard, but like it's not impossible. But yeah, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm not gonna leave a dramatic outro because you guys already know what to do. Queen Versace's out. Oh, 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 oh,